Welcome to Faith in the Working, a ministry created by teens for teens who want to learn how to apply God's Word to their lives in a real, authentic way. You know, the question that we all need to ask ourselves is not just are you doing evil right now? Obviously, you you shouldn't be, you don't want to be, but there's another question to ask, and that is, even if you're not doing evil right now, what direction are you pointed in? Are you pointed toward evil, or are you turning away from evil? And this is where this uh, beanbag over here comes into play. Try to imagine something with me here. I know this takes a little imagination, but Let's pretend together that this beanbag is a personification of evil, all right? This is evil. (laughs) Right there, okay? And I'm over here, and I'm quite a distance from it, and what God's Word tells me to do is to turn away from it. Don't even look at it. Walk in the opposite direction. But what I'm thinking is, do I really need to turn away? I mean, it's way over there. It's not like it's gonna rah, jump up and get me, right? I mean, come on, seriously. I can just, eh, you know, look over there. Just kinda, eh, there it is, I see it, yep. Actually, I think it's important to know a little bit about evil, because I don't wanna be naive. That's, that's the thing that I think shouldn't be missed in all of this, that If I don't know what evil is and how it looks, right? And you know, I mean, uh, just take a step closer just to get a better view of it. I mean, it's not that big a deal that I took a step closer. I mean, am I somehow like totally more safer here than I am over here? I mean, come on, just chill out, okay? All right? It's like, you know, I get so tired of people. Look, don't judge me because I'm over here. Because people that are over there, you think somehow you being over there makes you better than me. You know what? You're a Pharisee. That's all I have to say. (laughs) Have you ever studied the Pharisees? I spend a lot of time studying the Pharisees. And you know what? You remind me in a major way of those guys, okay? (laughs) And, you know, Jesus. Oh, does it bother you that I'm closer to the evil? Well, you know what? Jesus often made the Pharisees mad. So what do you think of this, huh? What do you think of that, huh? Yeah. Wow, there's the evil again. Wow, it's uh, a lot easier to see it when you're closer to it. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't even know if we should call it evil. It's sort of judgmental to call it evil. I mean, I wouldn't like to be called evil. And there are a lot of, a lot of people who enjoy this, uh, this evil. I mean, I, I know some of them. They're good I mean, they're people. I like them. I like the people that I don't see what the big deal is to, you know, just, whoa, I'm okay. (laughs) I'm fine, actually. I feel great. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I I don't know. I mean, uh, this whole, this whole God thing, God seems really distant, honestly. I don't, I don't know why in my life right now, but, but you're here. (laughs) Nice little evil black thing that, yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Maybe I was, I was legalistic probably when I was uh, standing way over there. <laughs> I tell you, yeah, this is nice. I really just love the, I feel kind of tired. I'd like to sit down in this. Just, I mean, hey, you know, only live once. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's really comfy. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go now. Thank you. It was, it was, I, I enjoyed it. I, I, I'd like to, I'd like to get up. Whoa, okay. All right. No, please get off me. At the end there, that was me being killed by evil. <laughs> now, you know, it would, be, it would be funny if it weren't so true. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 22 says, The iniquities 
of the wicked ensnare him. He is held fast in the cords of his sin. There's always this deception. This is one of the enemy's greatest lies that sin is not that big of a deal. There won't be a consequence. You can get away with it. It won't really harm you. And yet listen to the truth of God's word in Ephesians chapter 5, talking about those who seek to deceive with empty words. They say there's not going to be wrath. There's not going to be judgment from God. And it says take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them, for it is shameful even to speak of the things that they do in secret, speaking of, of those who are disobedient to God. And Romans 16, verse 19 says, I want you to be wise as to what is good and innocent as to what is evil. I want you to be wise. I want you to be knowledgeable of good. Philippians talks about meditating, thinking about what is good and pure and right. Think about those things. Know those things. Study those things. Turn your gaze and the the whole course of your life towards godliness. Be wise when it comes to goodness. It's all right if you are innocent and ignorant about evil. Feel, Feel good about that. You know, in our pride and our foolishness, so often we equate knowledge of evil with with somehow being suave and and mature. And and maybe you've had this feeling like, well, if I if I turn away from evil, what will people think of me? They'll think I'll be they'll think I'm a child. I'm acting like a child. Yes, you are acting like a child before your heavenly Father. And that's what God is calling us to hear a childlike faith that says, Jesus, if you call that evil, then I will turn from it. Even if the whole world is facing it, even if everyone in my life is saying it's no big deal, I want you more than that. I'm gonna trust you with this. I I don't understand maybe completely why it's a problem. I I haven't seen the consequences in my own life, but I don't have to experience the consequences of sin to be able to trust you and turn away. Turn away from evil, trust the Lord. If you wanna clap about that, you can clap about that, that's a a good truth. Here's how I wanna encourage you. Here's how you can actively practice trust in God today. Find one area of your life, one thing where you realize you are You're acting as though evil is something that's harmless and manageable. What is it that you're thinking of as we've talked about this? What is it that you're inching closer to? Express trust in God by turning away from that thing. You don't have to figure out everything that's been going on in your heart. You don't have to read seven books about it. Turn away from it. Turn away from it, turn your back on it. That might mean changing your lifestyle. It might mean getting rid of something. It might mean drastically, radically changing some aspect of your life. Do it, take that step, trust the Lord. Grow in your acknowledgement that he is Lord and his definition of evil is what you're called to flee.